Have you ever wondered why fluids like blood, paint or coffee leave traces behind when they evaporate? It's because there are suspensions, that is, a fluid in which small solid particles are dispersed. So, when the fluid evaporates, the particles remain on the surface. However, if we look closer, we are struck by the beauty of these morphologies. Indeed, blood has this smooth surface, interred by tiny cracks, while paint has this rough structure, and coffee has edges that are darker than the center. But so, what gives this morphology such a specific aspect? Well, the goal of my thesis is exactly to understand the origin of this morphology. In particular, I want to understand if and how these morphologies are related to the motion of the small particles. To facilitate things without losing the general picture, I use a model suspension composed of small glassy particles suspended in water. However, despite the simplicity of the system, studying the drying of a suspension is extremely complicated. Indeed, the particles are so small so numerous and they move so quickly that not even the most powerful microscope would be able to follow their motion. To overcome this problem, we started using a particular technique called dynamic light scattering or DLS. Basically, with DLS, we illuminate our sample with a laser and we form a light pattern that's related to the position of the particles. So, as soon as the particle moves, the pattern changes and analyzing the variations of the pattern, it's possible to understand how the particles have been moved around over time. Thanks to DLS, we've discovered an intriguing relationship between the motion of the small particles and the drying condition. The faster a suspension dries, the less the particle can move, which results in them in getting stuck in weird position, raising the regularity at the micro scale. In our daily life, there are still many unsolved problems related to a drying of a suspension, like for example, paint the cracks on our wall, health problems related to blood coagulation, and even spreading of viruses suspended in our saliva. My discovery that these morphologies have a microscopic origin pays the way for researchers to solve these and many other everyday problems.